So good morning everyone. This is not that let's have our prayer. Amen. So let's check our attendance. And I'll be Alcantara. Alpiar. Applicador. So reminders, students, please. Ipulot ng mga basura sa ilalim ng inyong upuan. Thank you. So, before that, uh, before we discuss our topic, let's have our objectives. So, at the end of the lesson, the grade student should be able to A, define what is a record sequence. B. Justify the use of formula and process in solving arithmetic sequence. And C. Solve a missing term in sequence using the formula of arithmetic sequence. So before we start the proper um, lesson or discussion, let's have Let's watch a short video presentation. So we've already talked a bit about sequences, but now we're going to actually put some more specific terminology to them and look at them in a more general sense. So in this video, let's learn more about arithmetic sequences. An arithmetic sequence is a sequence that has a constant difference between terms. So the formula is structured in a way that would look linear in nature. So an arithmetic sequence would start with a number. Let's refer to this number as A for now. In that case, since there is a set amount of difference that is always being added on, whether that number is negative or positive, we can refer to the difference as the common difference and we'll denote it as G. This means that our second term would clearly be a plus d. Now from here, our third term would be a plus d plus d, wouldn't it? And our fourth would just be an addition of d one more time, giving us a plus d plus d plus d. And notice that we can actually simplify this. This here can be simplified to a plus 2d, and this can be simplified down to a plus 3d. But if we look at this number here, it seems to always be trailing behind by one from what term number we're on. This is easy to account for, however, since we can just write a formula like this. Notice that if we're to look for term five, then we'd get t of five is equal to a plus five minus one d, which becomes four d. Awesome. So let's put our newfound formula to the test and try an example with some numbers. If we had a sequence like this, we would first realize that our first term is 4, which is the a in the formula. Then we would realize that the difference between each term is also 4, making that our common difference, which is represented as d in this formula. Thus, this would be our formula created for this sequence. So if we wanted to solve for the sixth term, all we would have to do is plug 6 into the ends to get the following. And if we simplify this, we find out that the sixth term is equal to 24. Awesome! So that's it for arithmetic sequences. We encourage you to go ahead and take a look at our next video on geometric sequences. But until then, have a good one. Okay, so what are your observations based on our Yes, Mr. Alabe. Okay, before we start our discussion, let's have our activity for first. Uh, in the instruction, so we have given equations by using the methods in algebra where it defines the value of x in order for you to get the correct answer. 
located in the boxes provided below by its corresponding value based on what you have said. So, in this kind of activity, let's have our grouping. So, count of um, 1 to 5. respective groups so you have three minutes to answer the this activity okay after that give your own insights about Puzzles. Okay, pumunta sa harapan yung representative ng bawat grupo. Okay, thank you. So, dito na tayo sa ating lesson. Sequence, yun yung naisolve nyo kanina, hindi ba yung mga words. So, what is a repetitive sequence? So, nakalagay dito, an repetitive sequence is an ordered set of numbers that have a common difference between each consecutive term. So, pagka sinasabi natin na uh, yung repetitive sequence daw ay merong kung common difference between each consecutive terms. Base na rin sa pinanood natin kanina na uh, video wherein na-explain doon kung paano na isosolve yung arithmetic sequence base doon sa mga terms nila. Sa A sub 1 is for first term. A sub n is for the last term. So, if we add or subtract by the same number each time to make the sequence, it is an arithmetic sequence. So, let's proceed. The formula of arithmetic sequence is a sub n. a sub n ang pagbasa nito. Equals to a sub 1 plus quantity of n minus 1 times d. Where a sub n, sinabi ko kanina, ito yung nth term of sequence. Pagka sinabi yung nth term, ito yung last term ng ating sequence. Pagka a sub 1 na naman, ito naman yung first term ng ating sequence. And number of terms of our sequence and d, common difference of our sequence. So, let's have our example. For example, what is the third term of the arithmetic sequence if the first term is 4 and the 6th term is 29. So, sa given natin, which is yung first term, noted as a sub 1 is equal to 4. Ang 6th term natin, which is yung a sub 6 is equal to 29. So, ang hinahanap natin is yung third term. Pero, pero, walang nakalagay na difference or hindi given yung difference natin. Your, yung common difference ng ating sequence. So, let's try to solve. So, our formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity of n minus 1 times d. Di ba? So, yung una-unang kukunin natin is yung po common difference. So, um, kukunin natin is yung a sub n which is value nito. a sub 6. Okay. So, 29 is equal to yung value ng a sub 1 natin which is 4. 4 plus quantity of yung n natin which is hindi pa 
given or ito na, 6 yung ating term, so 6 minus 1 times b so, gagawin lang natin is distribute lang natin ito dito, so copy 29 is equal to 4 plus 6b minus b. So, before natin gagawin yan, oh, mali, mali, mali pala, mali tayo, mali. Gagawin muna natin is, subtract muna yung 6 natin. So, 6 minus 1, which is 5, times d, which is 5d. Ano? 5d. So, next. Yung nakalagay kanina is 29 is equal to 4 plus 5d. So, by using transposition, Ta-transpose natin yung 4 dito sa left, which is from positive 4 to negative 4, is equal to 5D. So, 29 minus 4 is, correct, 25 is equal to 5D. So, by dividing both sides by 5, para makukulong para makuha natin yung value ng b which is cancel kasi 1 na siya 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5 so 5 is equal to b so yung common difference natin is Kuha na natin yung value ng ating common difference. Kunin naman natin yung value ng third term ng ating sequence. So, by the given formula, which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity of n minus 1 times t. Lalagay natin sa a sub n yung a sub 3. equal to yung value ng a sub 1 a sub 1 4 plus yung yung n natin which is 3 n natin which is 3 minus 1 times d or ito na may value yung d natin which is copy lang yung 4 unahin natin yung nasa parenthesis so 3 minus 1 which is 2 times 5 which is 10 so ayan 4 plus 10 is equal to is equal to 14 so value of our third term is a sub a is equal to 14 so ito yung answer natin so let's proceed next activity natin is uh, same group pa rin kung ano yung grupo nyo kanina yun pa rin yung, yung grupo so each group have a different kinds of problem so 
instruction, write your answer in one whole sheet of paper, show your solution, and, and explain how you got the answer. So, group 1, find the 45th term of an arithmetic sequence having a sub 1 is equal to 3 and b is equal to 8. Group 2, you have your problem 3, 4, and 5. So, you have 5 units to answer. Afterwards, we're gonna explain it dito sa harapan. Okay. For your exercises, find the missing term in the sequence. Ito naman ay individual. So, let's have a please. May time pa naman. So, 5 minutes. 5 minutes na rin na please. Okay. Pass your papers. For our assignment, kindly research and study in advance what arithmetic means. Give the definition of arithmetic means and give at least five examples with answer and solution. Write it um, one across wise. 